What's up YouTube, it's your boy Andre here back with another video. In today's video we're going to be talking a little bit about Sony, how they're doing as a company and the mobile phone industry as a whole. When I say Sony I am only focusing on their smartphone division so let's get straight into it. Now, the mobile phone industry is not doing too well at the moment. Even the tech giants such as Samsung and Apple have reported a drop in sales. And according to Wired.co.uk, both have reported plummeting profits for the last quarter of 2018. And as you can imagine, Sony are also not doing great at the moment. Sony have reported numbers that are deep in the red. Now to give you some figures, Sony went from shipping 15.3 million units at the end of uh, 2015 to shipping just 4 million at the end of 2017, that's globally. And it is not just Sony that are struggling. LG also went from 15.3 million at the end of 2015 to 13.9 million units at the end of 2017. So LG is not doing as bad as Sony, however HTC is doing the worst out of all of them. They went from selling 1.97 million units at the end of 2015 to just 0 0.98 million units at the end of 2017. Now even if any of these manufacturers, Sony, LG or HTC, turned around and made a huge hit smartphone device tomorrow, generally their lack of budget will have a huge impact on making those phones a success. For instance, when a new iPhone or a new Samsung device gets released, there's a huge amount of budget that goes along with that. Apple, when they release a new device, whether you hate them or love them, whether you have nothing to do with the smartphone industry, you will be aware at some point in time that there will be a new iPhone device coming out. Whether there is a huge TV ad, whether there's huge billboards or sort of balloons in stores. Uh, Samsung do pretty much the same thing. They market a lot out of their phones. They sort of do uh, road shows and things like that, TV adverts and billboards and you know store presence. They have a huge store presence, especially when you go into any store like car phone warehouse, for instance, to have a look at mobile phones. On the other hand, when Sony release a new phone, there really isn't a lot going on. Apart from you going into store and a colleague recommended or, or, or telling you about a new Sony phone, pretty much you're not gonna hear about it at all. Especially if you're not into Sony phones, you will probably not know that they've released a new phone. And um, similar to an LG or HTC phone. So marketing is a huge, huge deal. And these companies, including Sony, have not really focused on marketing or they don't have the budget to go along with their devices. Now Sony are claiming that the launch of the new super fast 5G mobile network will turn their fortunes around. Now in a statement to Wired, the company insisted that it is fully committed to the smartphone sector and bringing market leading technology to the mobile space. We believe that over the mid to long term, the mobile business is an area that we can transform into a sustainable business with growth potential by creating new products and services. So Sony seems to be heavily reliant on 5G to turn around their profits, not just in the smartphone business, but also to do with their sort of tablets and other uh, devices. At this point in time, Sony sales seem to be struggling. However, they still have sales going through and they're doing really well in a very niche select few markets. Here in the UK, we've had three drop Sony altogether. You can no longer get the Sony Xperia 1 from 3 at all. Now, one of the viewers on this channel commented on a previous video that I had uploaded that 3 don't sell uh, the Xperia X1, so they were sort of forced to go for a Huawei P30 Pro. It wasn't a move that he sort of expected to make, but because 3 didn't sell the Xperia 1, he was forced to go to an alternative brand. The good news is that you can still get the Xperia 1 here in the UK from a lot of networks and a lot of companies. For instance, you can get it from Carphone Warehouse. It's still available with EE, O2 and Vodafone. Right now, I sound like I'm marketing this phone and I'm getting paid for this. I am not getting paid for this, guys, at all. But you can still get this phone from a lot of places here in the UK, which is great news. However, based on their sales, uh, track records and also uh, the fact that some networks are dropping Sony altogether and the difficulties they've had in the US with patent laws and things like that with the previous devices 
really isn't doing anything well for Sony right now. Now I have two graphs I want to show you guys and these graphs are from statista.com. The first graph is unit sales of Apple uh, iPhone worldwide from 2007 to 2018 in millions. As you guys can see from 2007 all the way up to 2015, iPhone sales have grown significantly and it peaked in 2015. Ever since then, Apple have no longer been able to beat that record sales number. And the next graph is Sony smartphone sales by volume from 2016 to 2019 in millions of units. Now, as you guys can see, they did a huge number in 2016 and ever since then, they've sort of been declining. And from 2017 to 2018, they have dropped significantly. Now, at this point in time, there is a lot of interesting things going on within the mobile phone industry. Samsung and Apple are no longer the two niche mobile phone operators within the market. You have a lot of Chinese brands such as Huawei, Naomi and uh, a lot of other brands that are coming into play. LG, Sony, Apple, Samsung, HTC are really feeling that. So it's very interesting to watch guys and there's a lot of new things that are gonna be happening within the next few years within this industry. Really excited guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I really wanna know what you guys think. I aim to read all the comments, but if you guys enjoyed this video, this sort of video is a little bit different today, hit that like button. If you really, really enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button guys. I appreciate all the support and all the love that you guys are showing. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.